Hi, welcome to the Gear Garage. My name is Zach. This is my little internet show about whitewater stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody for following these episodes. I really appreciate all the discussion they create and just like the positivity. So thank you guys. I know I'm not like an amazing public speaker, but I'm doing my best to get better. And hopefully the episodes now are better than they were back when I started. I'm really, I really enjoy trying to get better at this and I hope, hope I am. So thank you all for watching. Please, if you like it, subscribe. I love having subscribers and hit the like button. And uh, yeah, let's move on to what I want to talk about today. A lot of these gear garages start with discussions I have with friends or people I work with, other guides, where we start wondering about something and I go out and kind of start doing some, some research and, and diving deep. And this is something I kind of, kind of dove deep into. I want to think about and share with you some thoughts about throwbacks and static lines and the length they should be. I think that's an interesting thing. And so, first of all, I think a lot of people believe in this NRS Rescue Pro throw bag as their rescue rope. This is great rope, but it's limited by the fact that it's 75 feet long. And I think, I personally think it's a fallacy to depend on 75 feet of rope. I don't like this throw bag for two reasons. One, as a haul line, the rope is too short. And as a bag you would throw, it's not very throwable. It's in this like not very good bag that's kind of weird. And the rope's a little heavy to throw far. I'm gonna recommend, and I know this is an expensive solution and not everybody can't always spend infinite money, focusing on a throw bag that's very throwable, that you can throw accurately to a swimmer, that you can get out to a raft or whatever. I would get a smaller diameter rope that's very grabbable, that feels good, and you throw well, whatever bag that is. And I would match that up with some sort of static line, some sort of haul line. This is a beefy static line. This is what we bring on our commercial trips. This is a lot of static line. Now, I know these are expensive, they're hard to carry, but I feel like I would try to have a throwable throw bag with some sort of static line. We'll talk about static lines in a later gear garage. I have more coming on that. But I wanna talk about static line length and why it matters to have a static line. And to do that, we're gonna talk about the good old wrap, right? If we talk about this a lot, you know, we could talk about you know, tension diagonals and all kinds of other things that we use rescue for. This is just something that's easily, easily to visualize and easy to talk about. And I want to demonstrate that 75 feet really isn't enough to do an average three to one system. And so you need more rope and we'll talk that through a little bit. So first of all, I watched this video. Just guess how far this raft is from shore. Just take a wild guess. I, you know, I had to actually go out and measure it to know the answer and I was wrong. And if you have guts, pause this and put your guess in the comments below. I just am curious what you think. You know, I had a guess. We actually went out and measured it today with a tape measure. We used, we used a throw bag and I measured that with a tape measure. And it turns out that 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 raft, which isn't that doesn't seem to be that far from shore to me, is 47 feet away. This I'm sorry, the rock, the center of this raft, the rock it was on for this example was 47 feet away. So. This distance, I'm gonna mark it here so we have it 47 feet. So if a, if a throw bag were to go to the end of the raft, and a typical raft is 14 feet, I'm gonna say this distance here is 40 feet from shore. So if I want to attach a, a bag to the, the, the end of the, the raft, that's gonna be 40 feet. So you know, that, with the throw bag, no big deal. Throw bag, let's say mine are typically 65 feet, but th that NRS one's 75 feet, no problem. It'll get there and you'll have 35 feet to spare. So if you need to do a three to one, right, you just run the rope over here. Now you need more than 40 feet to do a three to one. You have to go, you probably have an anchor right here, right? Like this and then a pulley right here. So it's typically, you don't always have anchors where you exactly want them. I would say on average, it's about 10 feet from the shore to your pulley. It can be less, it can be more, but you gotta go 10 more feet. You gotta go around the pulley, typically around five feet out, around that pulley and about five feet more just to have something to pull on. So we're at 40 feet, 50 feet, we're at, we're at 60 feet. Not a big deal, right? That works out pretty easy, right? Not, but I wanna say, these are ideal conditions, right? Everything works out fine, 75 feet works out pretty well. The issue is, I'm a big fan, this, this may not work, and it probably won't work. I'm a big fan of, well, let's change the angle, right? Let's try pulling from different angles. So let's say we decide to go and, and look at this, this setup right here. How many feet up the bank do you think we went to set this up? Just take a guess, and if you want to put in the comments, cool. If not, no big deal. 
Turns out we measured it, and we went 36 feet up the bank. So to here, this is 36 feet. It doesn't look like 36 feet, it was shocking to me. And so to pull up to here, that's 36 feet. So I'm gonna pause this really quick. I'm gonna do Pythagorean's theorem, right? If this is 36 and this is 40, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let me go to my tet handy computer really quick and find out what this length is based on Pythagorean's theorem. Okay, I'm back. So if this is 40, this is 36, this is 53 feet, right? We have 53 feet of rope. But as soon as we want to go up to our anchor right here, which is 10 feet away, that gets us to 63 feet, and then back maybe five feet to our pulley and back maybe five feet to pull, we now have, we're at set, you know, 53 plus 10 plus five plus five is 73 feet, right? And, and so ideally, two, there's, you also have a redirect, right? You're not just, if you pull in line with the D-rings, that D-rings pop, there's no redirect. So ideally, even we had another, you know, five feet this way to do a redirect. So you can't do a redirect if you have a boat 40 feet from shore and you're pulling from an angle on the end of the boat. Right, so that so the NRS throw bag, the 75 feet, does not even work here. Or it works, but you can't do the redirect, which I think you should do the redirect, right? But, but the, here's the issue, here's the other issue. Pulling from the end of the boat is best case scenario. This boat isn't that far from the shore. I'm finding, I found with my experience at least, you really want to pull from this end of the boat, right? That really helps kind of peel the boat off. So let's say you want to switch this anchor to here, this is 47 feet away. We're not gonna go all the way to the end of the boat. That would be 54 feet. Let's just say 50 feet, right? So now we're gonna, this spot right here, that's 50 feet. And sorry for all the nerdy stuff here. I like doing it. If you don't follow, I'm sorry. So if instead you go 50 feet and now you go to shore, you're 50 feet there, 10 more feet puts you at 60 plus five plus five puts you at 70. So you can still do it with a little bit of a room for, did we do that right? 50 plus 10 more is, is 60 plus five, 65 plus five, 75. You could straight on do it to shore. But again, you all, you really want to try different angles. And so as soon as you go to angle, you go at this angle, Let's make a new triangle. This, I know this is getting complicated to watch. But if I go 47 feet, no, I'm sorry, 50 feet plus 36 feet, and I use Pythagorean's theorem. Let me go to my computer really quick and use Pythagorean's theorem to fi figure out how long that is. Okay, I'm back. According to Pythagorean's theorem, this will be 61 feet. So, so just to go from the farther end of the boat to an area that's up the river a little bit using 61 feet of rope. And if we went to the anchor, just getting the anchor 71, back to here is 76, back to here is 81. And so you've already ex exceeded what, what you're the length of a throw bag and there's no redirect, right? So my point is if everything's perfect, you just pull from the end of the boat to shore, 75 feet works. But as soon as you pull from a different spot of the boat, and a different part of the shore, it doesn't, it breaks down. And your boat is not always just like 47 feet away, right? There's boats way further away. You go through rope fast, really fast. So what I would wanna do, if I had my right static line, right, is think about the kind of boating I'm using and try to adjust the static line length of that with some extra just in case. So let me talk about what that might look like. So let's imagine, you know, we're on, we're on pretty wide rivers and, and let's just take this. Now, if you're, if you're on creeks, things that are 10, 20 feet wide, 75 feet is probably fine. But let's just say, for example, the center of this was 60 feet away, right? That seems like how far away, you know, a raft could almost be for you to access it, right? Any further than that, it's hard to make the toss and, you know, it's possible. Let's, let's go 65, because you could, you could make it 65. Let's just go to 60. No, let's stay, no, let's stay with 60. I like 60, right? And it's important when you're pulling a wrap off 
that you pull from the direction it's already planning to go, right? Like if it's if it's 60 to here and 70 to here, right? But it's more likely to come off this way. Well, you want to go with the 70, right? I, I think 60 is even like being nice, but let's just say it's 60. Maybe draw that so it looks pretty. 60 feet to the rock. And let's just say we want to go to the end of the raft, right? Almost the end of the raft. So if you have a two point anchor right here and this is 60 feet and the raft is 14 feet long, let's say it's actually 65 to where we attach, right? So you need to go 65 feet from shore to the far D rings. And let's just say, for example, you want to be able to go at an angle, uh, you want to be able to go 40 feet up the bank. I think that's pretty reasonable. Any more than that is maybe kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to go back to Pythagorean's theorem to figure out, right, we're going from here to here. So we're doing a squ 65 squared plus 40 squared equals C squared. Let's find out what the hypotenuse is. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. 75, 76 feet, it turned out, right? So in this situation, a throwback wouldn't even work. You'd be standing in the water with one person holding onto the rope. Wouldn't work, right? So you got 76 feet there. Let's just say, you know, you don't always know where your anchor is. You don't always have a perfect anchor 10 feet from shore. So just to be careful, let's just say our anchor, right, is where our pulley is, that that distance is 15 feet. Right, just just to be extra cautious in case our anchor's way up there, right? And so our, our let's say there's a tree there, an anchor there, the rope has to go to the pulley. It needs to go at least five feet. Let's make it go 10, just to be, again, conservative, and then 10 back, and let's go 10 this way so we can do a redirect, right? This seems like, you know, we're covering all of our bases here, so let's add this up. And I haven't done this yet, so I don't even know the answer. 76 plus 15 gets us to 91, plus 10 gets us to 101, plus 10 more gets us to 111, and plus 10 more gets us to 121. So I would just say, I mean, I just added those numbers up for the first time. Based on this example, I think 121 feet is like a good length. I would, I would actually call 120, 100, just say 120 feet, sort of a minimum length I would want for a static line on a typical raft trip. And I think with, you know, just to make things work out well, let's just call it 150, right? Just in case something, it's the boats further out or whatever. And also there's ways you can do anchors to boats where you use the static line through the D-rings. I've done a video about in the past that sucks up 10 or 15 feet. So you're allowing yourself to use this, this, this two point anchor system that uses the line itself, which I, I I'm sorry I brought it up because it might be confusing. But the extra 30 feet is like a safety factor. So I would say the answer for a static line for most of us is 150. That's a good number. And it wouldn't hurt to go 200. But I also, you know, you might want to go down. If the rivers you're running, you know, aren't that wide, maybe you're okay with 120 feet, right? But I think I want to just make it clear, 75 feet probably doesn't cut it. Now, some of you are saying, okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna set two, I'm gonna attach two throwbacks together and voila, I have 150 feet. And, and there's a couple issues with that. First of all, rarely do two people have two good throwbags that are 150 feet that they can attach. That, that's a little bit of an issue. But let's say you do have them. The one issue is once you get, you can attach it here and then you're probably fine, but if you get to a lower amount, there's a, that carabiner that connects them. When the boat comes off and that carabiner has to run through the system backwards, it's gonna bind. I, I, I'm gonna have a hard time explaining this, but when you have like, you want the rope to be continuous if possible, because again, once the boat comes off, everything runs backwards. And if, if the carabiner is here and the boat goes downstream, the carabiner could get run through the system in a way that you don't want. So, so if you fully understand what that means and you think you're still okay with two 75 feet throw bags and you can set it up correctly, there's, you always have two, sure. But what I'm gonna suggest is, you know what, let's just try to carry a static line. That way instead of having two 75 foot throw bags, 
we can have one throw bag like this that we really like. I know I can make the toss to my buddy who's swimming. I know I can make this toss out to the or I'll underhand throw. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an overhand thrower now. I just changed my mind. But I know I can make the toss out to the bow without, you know, eight throws. You know, I'm, I'm accurate with this bag. So I'm going to get the, the throw bag that's smaller diameter that isn't my pulling line. I could pull on it in a pinch, but that I have a static line of proper length. Again, at least 120 feet, but ideally 150 feet that I use for the heavy duty work. So thank you all for following. That was, you know, I, I'm expressing some things I've been thinking about. I'm sure it's confusing. Hopefully some of it made sense. And uh, as always, I always look forward to the comments you guys have. If you think of this stuff, I'm a moron. You're like, man, that makes no, not only does that make no sense, but you're wrong. Tell me that. Or if you think I'm absolutely brilliant, my ego needs to be stroked too. Please tell me I'm brilliant because I may feel better about myself. Uh, but that's just a lot of some complex thoughts I have. And, and, I, and I'm not saying this is the answer. Like, follow me, what I'm saying, no matter what. I'm, I'm throwing up some ideas and hoping to, you know, have some pushback and some discussion and have some of you bring up things I didn't think of so I can, I can have a more complete thoughts on this. So, again, please add your thoughts if you have them. And, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time.